Hello and welcome to another episode of Don't Tell My Wife podcast. Here with one of your hosts, Junior. And it's Ken. And yeah, man, back again. Another episode, another, another week. week. No guests this week. Just us in Just the us. stew. <laughs> you know what I mean? So, what are you saying, bro? I'm bro, I'm, I'm all right still. Um, How's your week been? I'm trying to think. My week's been okay. It's been mm-hmm. all right. I've got a cold in it, so it's been a bit... Mm. You guys still. are your codes, fam. Bro, I, and the thing is, well, my immune system is really good. I don't normally get... I get, like, maybe, like, two, three colds a year max. And, like, maybe one, just one or two during the winter. So, yeah. I'm Can't just going through that right now. Other than that, hmm, I went to watch Arsenal. Yeah. When did I, when did I go? Relax. Wednesday. Wednesday. Yeah, 2-0 no win. You know how it... You know how we be. Who did you play? Uh, Sevilla. Seville. Man said Sevilla. Seville, Seville, Seville. <laughs> wait, so wait, go ahead. It's Seville, bro. S E V I L L A. Spanish, isn't it? What was it? You have Seville, to be cultured by Seville. guys. Seville. Seville. Have you ever been to Spain before? Have you? Oh, you have? Hey, don't kill me. But yeah, been, no, I went been. to watch a match, bro. It was good. Mm-hmm. It was good. It was good, man. That's it was good. good. Yeah, man. It's nice to be, you know, Champions League football back at the Emirates. Well, after back in like the N5, 10 years. After like 10 years. And what have you done in that 10 years? <laughs> well, we've been in the Champions League basically nearly every season. Bro. And what have you done this was, there? This was the last, this was the first season Spurs hasn't been in No, Europe. I know, that's fine. In like, since I was no, and a I was, kid. And I hear that and I respect that. But what have you done in the... Nothing, bro. That's it. That, then I guess you're just a participant. Don't kill me. <laughs> but if you want a medal for that... <laughs> but yeah, me, um, other than that, mm-hmm. yeah, no, that's that's pretty much it, man. Mm-hmm. Uh, that's been my week. But it's been, it's been, a, it's been an okay week. Mm-hmm. What about yeah. you? Nah, my week has been cool. I've been doing husband and daddy daycare, bro. Because yeah. obviously, Zef, you know, I said last week, Zef has the flu. Yeah, yeah. The nurse I caught the flu this week. Yeah. So, Monday and Tuesday, I didn't work in it. I was just, just looking after them. So, it was cool, man. You know, running around, getting them their flu, jab, whatever. Yeah. Cough medicine, going to the shop, buying them they their food. They might not get the flu jab. Uh, she got one when she was pregnant, but she was saying that she needs to get one. Can't lie, though. I'm, I think it's I a bit too late now, though. Probably. I'm, I don't know how I haven't caught it, bro. Two of them in the house. We share yeah. the same house. Yeah. <laughs> and maybe. I haven't caught it from both of them. Cheers. Maybe it's just because you got a good, good immune system. You don't yeah, really get so ill I don't either, get ill, honest. man. But when I do get ill, yeah, it's, it's flute, bro, yeah, it's I'll peak. be on my last legs, nah, bro. Nah, peak still. Because I think it was last year I had the flu. Um, I think it was around like just before summer. So this was like, Around March times, mm. caught a flu, bed bound. Yeah, yeah, that's like, same as bed me. Bed bound like, for like two days, bro. Yeah, when I get when I get like really ill, I'm met, like, yeah, that's, off. Yeah, with men in it, bro. Yeah, when we get ill, was that like, basically dying, fam? I'm screaming. <laughs> but, yeah, we're basically dying. What, what did your wife do this week? Um, no, it's, it's been a pretty good weekend. You know, no, nah, mm. I can't like sh- shower her out in it. Eee! Yeah, no, you sh- got a shower out this week. Yeah, no, nah, it's been a long I'll time. Sh- man. Sh- <laughs> 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 no, not not even. It's like it's just pretty much like. Obviously, you know, it's been a bit stressful, tough and that on, on the household a little bit. So, mm-hmm. obviously, I just want to shout out for for being there to talk to you and being, you know, being being cool. It's a bit, you know, mm-hmm. I, I, I'm not really the emotional type, so I don't really say much. I just keep my feelings to So, But I'm still, learn, I'm still learning about that. I'm so still... Glad to open up. So, yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm, I'm, I'm actually very mm-hmm. bad at that. And obviously, it's, oh. it's good to communicate, but, bro, I've just never... Bro, like, Deep it. If, if some people have communication issues and they're talking about it, me, I'm eight. I'm eight years deep in this, mm-hmm. and I still haven't really opened Why up though? because I I ain't, just ain't never done bit, it. Ain't, ain't that a bit stubborn though? No, it's, bro, if you it's haven't not, opened it, up in no, eight years. It's, no, that, that's not coming from being a stubborn place. It's because I don't really know mm. how to. I blame my dad's now. No, you know, to, an, there, to an there, extent, it's yeah. their fault, man. But then uh, I think it's about time that I've kind of got because I was I was talking mm-hmm. to tell, tell me about this on. I think I, I linked him on like Monday or Tuesday mm-hmm. or something like that. Say where? Lakeside quickly. Uh, yeah. I'm going to shout out for him. Did you shout him for yesterday? <laughs> <laughs> yesterday went me. That was no, but I was going, I was going, I was going H and M. So I was just and I spoke to him on PlayStation. So mm-hmm. I was like, oh, bro, I ain't seen you in some time. I'm just gonna go Lakeside. So I'll come and grab you. Mm-hmm. So yeah, okay, we're just nice, talking about cute. it, and he was like, how he started to open up, etc. And then That's I was cute. like, and I was, I was like, wow, like I really kind of got to buck up my game because mm-hmm. you know, like. Even, even, and Timmy, obviously, this is this. I thought Timmy is more hard headed than me. You know what I mean? No, but love be changing the man. Yeah, no. <laughs> if, if you change, love be changing the man. If you changing, but yeah, so, like, I am, I do talk, but it's just like maybe I don't go deep, deep. You know what I mean? Mm. So, but what, what's there to, what's there, 
why do you feel guarded in that sense? Because Avi is your wife. She's your everything. Like, yeah. You should f- be able to release. No, of course. Do you get me? But I think, I don't know. I, I, I don't think her being my wife matters, though, in the, this situation. Because it's not her. It's me. It's a personal thing. You know mm-hmm. what I mean? Mm-hmm. So it's just like, I've never actually been in that vulnerable state where mm-hmm. I've ever needed to talk to someone about something. You know what mm-hmm. I mean? So, so what made you just what, what made you say you know what I'm going to dive into that now? Um, where, where was the switch? I, I think it's no, I think it's just the fact that because I know how how it is when you don't, mm-hmm. and also I kind of want to make sure Malachi is in the house where he feels mm-hmm. that there's a lot of open communication. You know what I mean? Mm-hmm. And obviously, if I don't start doing that now. Mm-hmm. It's not just gonna switch mm-hmm. when he gets old enough. Mm-hmm. So I've kind of got to stop putting that into practice now. But as I said, like shout her out because yeah. obviously she's had that space to try and make me, mm-hmm. but it's me not doing it. You know what I mean? Mm-hmm. But she's always, you know, she's there. She's helpful. Yeah, yeah, yeah man. She's she's proper still. And um, it's cute, man. Yeah, shout her out, man. And men, we need to open up more, man. No, we we do because still. There's, there's benefits to opening up. With no, spouse. there is, there is. Because look how light you feel now. That you've opened up, you feel lighter, right? No, but I don't. I haven't opened up though. I told her I, I ended up talking to her. Wait, so you have right? so all of this? No, 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 that's it doesn't men. change anything. That's with I'm men. still gonna have to go up that's and a, get it. You that's the man I mean? thing. You know what? That's the man thing, and, and that's something that we've probably spoken about on the pod previously. Yeah, yeah. But we think, yeah, obviously me venting or me talking about my issues isn't gonna change nothing. But sometimes you just need that to feel lighter. You know what I'm saying? Because even a couple weeks ago with my job, mm-hmm. there was one day where it was tough. Mm-hmm. Like I said, if I was a weak guy, obviously not, you know. Yeah, no. If I was a weak guy. <laughs> yeah. Or if I was like just an emotional person, I could have broken down, innit? Yeah, Because yeah. it was that hard, like. Yeah. Because I just started my new job. I don't really know what's going on. Mm-hmm. People are asking me for things. My clients onto me for things. My manager's onto me for things. I'm like, hey guys, like, I've just started. It's just me, yeah, yeah, yeah. You get me? So I felt so, so, so under pressure. And it was a weight on my back. Yeah. And I picked up Norsa and Zeph from work and nursery. And I was just bit quiet. Like, you know, them ones yeah, where yeah, just, yeah. I don't even want to talk in it. Yeah, yeah. I was like, you know what, babe? This, 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 this is what yeah, happens. Yeah. I was venting. And at the end of the night, I felt lighter. Like yeah. I was laughing, I was smiling, I was happy. And that was because I kind of just released it. Yeah. Because imagine if I didn't, if I didn't talk, or I just said, babe, I'm, I'm all right. My day's been cool. Mm-hmm. It's been hard. I was, that's it. Like, I would have still felt that pressure and I, was, I would have still felt that heaviness. No, I hate you. But because you. I released it, I felt lighter. Do you know what I'm saying? Yeah, no, I hate you about the whole feeling lighter. Yeah, man. But sometimes I'm just like, the problem is still going to... Like, the next day you went back to work, the problem was yeah, still there. Yeah, but the problem was there. <laughs> but because, <laughs> because I spoke about it, I think it allowed me to think, you know what? Tomorrow is a new day. Like, yeah, no, I hate that, you. This day is done. I've spoken about it. I've vented. I've complained. Tomorrow we go again. If I still kept those thoughts and those feelings onto me, I may have just been overthinking in the night or anxious mm-hmm. when I hear my phone, my phone go off, my work phone, an email, I'd have probably been feeling anxious or whatever. Yeah. But the next time I was like, cool. Yesterday was yesterday, today's today. Hey, me, I would have switched off my phone. I don't know what I don't, I don't know, know why I see that, man. I don't know what's going on with you people and your your work phones being. But I think it's thing. just it's just the nature of my job in it. Like, we're weird, man. Us people in the property industry, we're weird, bro. We're weirdos. Like, I'll be seeing emails from our colleagues at like 9 p.m. Yeah, they're taking, PM. they're taking a minute. Go spend time with your family. Bro. <laughs> weirdos. <laughs> but the bro, it's just overdoers, man. I don't know mm-hmm. what's wrong with them. But anyway, um, other than that, yeah, no, mm-hmm. shout, shout, shout her out. I hear that, man. Ah, and also, ah, sorry, it's not a, what my wife done this week, of course. And then mm-hmm. also, as my wife is number one in it, mm-hmm. but also, shout out my mommy too. Ah, you know? yeah, shout out, shout out. Man, I can't lie, my mom, bro, like that woman, she's she's, she's an incredible woman, man. Mm. She we love that, man. bro. I can't lie, man. The, like the way she's always there to help me and stuff is is mm-hmm. is crazy. Like obviously, like obviously, um, obviously she just lost her mom, so obviously mm. my grandma passed. And obviously that was the episode. Mm-hmm. Well, it was blessings episode that we recorded, mm-hmm. didn't it? Mm-hmm. So obviously the day after, um. 
the day before Blessed's episode on the Thursday, obviously, she found out her mum passed and it was a bit, it was, you know, she's been down. Mm. But, um, but yeah, now she started to pick herself up now and, bro, like, oh, well, this life, you know, get back to you. Bro. It's crazy, man. But, yeah, yeah no, so, like, even man. just that, because mm-hmm. even with that situation, mm-hmm. like, and that's why I said shout out abs, because obviously she's given me the space to talk. But it's bare weird because I I don't I I don't know how to feel because mm. it's like I saw my grandma I went to Nigeria last in two thousand and five mm-hmm. yeah we know a long time ago, ago. Mm-hmm. and I think she came over here for to visit maybe like twenty ten or twenty thirteen one of, between those years mm-hmm. so I hadn't seen her in like twelve years I was supposed to go to Nigeria next year mm-hmm. to in February to go and like obviously she'd meet Malachi she see Malachi and you know that's your great Great grandson, mm-hmm. yeah, great grandson. But obviously now it's different now. Now obviously she's not here. She didn't really get to meet me. Him. She saw him. She saw pictures, which is nice. But mm. I wanted them to meet in the flesh. But, nah, but yeah, losing, losing your grandma is a weird. It's, it's 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 weird because it's just like because you know white people they're like oh oh you know I saw me nan this week on on That's Sunday I'll go to my nan's on Sunday down the road, they live down the road. <laughs> but but for us like first. First Gen. first gens, like it's it's so weird. Like obviously I'd speak to my grandma on the phone here and there, but it's just like like I, I loved her, we were cool, but bro, mm. like, we just don't have we just you know, I never like, really distance, saw her, so I don't know how to the distance how to feel. It's, I think it's that was a bit weird. That was similar to me. So I lost my nan. You were saying my nan, nan. my grandma. <laughs> grandma. I, said, I lost my nan, but I lost my grandma, I think it was 2020. Yeah. And I hadn't seen her since like Maybe 2013 or 2012. Yeah. So this was like a good seven, eight years. I ain't seen her. And when I found out that she passed, mm-hmm. I didn't know how to feel. Yeah. Because it's like the distance didn't make me like obviously everyone has different relationships with their grandmas or their grandparents, whatever. But the distance didn't make me feel anything. But I think it was just the darkness that was like around at the time. Yeah. I seen my mom in that state losing yeah. her mom. And that made me think, God damn. Yeah, yeah. This, God for, obviously not God forbid, because every, there's a time for everything, yeah. innit? Like, death is promised, innit? Yeah. But it made me think, damn, like. Like, if I was to lose my yeah. mom, how and would even, I feel? And even, and even, my grandma was old, an old woman, so yeah. her death was like a, it wasn't a bad thing. Yeah. Like, but even to see how my mom and my aunties and uncles reacted to her, yeah. lead, her dying, and that was, and, and she was old. Yeah. And they still felt that emotion. I was like, bro, this is gonna be a peak, yeah, bro. It's, this is it's peak. This bro. is gonna be peak. And obviously, the people that has lost their mums and dads before, like, you guys are very, very strong, man. Because it's not easy. Nah, it's, bro, it's I can't lie. Easy. It's mad, mad, bro. It's, it must be mad. Yeah, it's crazy, man. You know, it, it must be mad still. But um, but yeah. But anyway, what did my wife do this year? Yeah, I don't know why we turned into sadness. Yeah, no, sorry, no sadness. No, <laughs> this part is off for of sadness. Yeah, no, it's not sadness. So obviously, you know. <laughs> Celebrations because she lived yeah, a lot. Man. You know she was like yeah, eighty five, so uh, she lived. A, she lived a long life. She had, life chi- she had bro. She had <laughs> her children. Then her children had children. Mm. You know what I mean? So, bro, Malachi is like the last of a long list of yeah, grandchildren. Yeah, yeah, so, so she got to see a lot of a lot yeah, of people, man. Blessing, so man. it's but, celebration, but it's just you know, mm. like life is just weird. But but yeah, no. Anyway, we'll leave, we'll leave that yeah, one. Man. What more after this week? I can't lie, she hasn't done nothing this week, you know. Like, she's been cool this week. Um, she's just been ill, so I've just been looking after her, yeah. really. So we've just been at home this week. There's nothing particular that she's done. I've just obviously been doing up house help. <laughs> house yeah, yeah, man. So Respect, in, brother. Come on, man. But in terms of Zeph and his <laughs> development this week, yeah. um, ain't nothing changed, man. That guy's still ill, bro. <laughs> <laughs> He's still ill, bro. Yeah, yeah. It's crazy, man. But yeah, he's getting better, obviously. Like he's getting better. He's because he's and getting to the end of the the flu in it. So yeah, that's it from Zeph. So. Yeah, um, Mali's just ill as well, man. He's just got he, he caught the cold from me. I'll say he caught it. I from think you. he caught it from me, but he's I, had his jab. He's had his jab. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Again, so I think calm. I think he caught it from me, but so it's just it's just a bit sad watching them, like. Suffering it because, like, when he's sometimes when he's sleeping, he's he could hear the snot in his nose, all that stuff. But me, obviously, I'd have I blow my nose or whatever, 
or I just use that spray that clears my nose, mm-hmm. so I'm okay. Mm-hmm. But him, you can't you yeah. do that kind of stuff, you know what I mean? Have so, you been sucking the... No, nah, abs, abs does it, to be honest, because yeah. abs always... Why don't you do it? Bro, I've, I've, I feel like I've done it once. I, if, if there's a need for emergency, I'll definitely, I, said, I wouldn't think twice. I said only for emergency. <laughs> no, only for, but it, other than that, I've mm-hmm. got that, the nose thing. I know the nose thing work? might not, it works ish, you know, it might not get everything. A baby, man. But yeah, I just, I was a dumb one. But yeah, know. abs would just be, and then, yeah. But yeah, when is your child, child? When you do, you do you anything? Did, yeah, man. But I was, she was like, nah, 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 my God. Did she still not do it? Um, no, nah, she doesn't do it. I'm the person. That, but now, come on, I was nearly two years old. Yeah. He, you know what? Sorry. Yeah. He learned how to play his nose this week. Oh, I'm screwed. So, <laughs> Nosa was like, <laughs> like to, yeah, yeah, yeah. he was like, <laughs> and then he, he, he saw that it came out. Yeah. He kept on doing it. So yeah, he knows how to play. Nah, that's that's the development. Nah, that's I forgot great. about that. That's the big development yeah, man. though. So calm, so easy, bro. Now you nice have to... cord, bro, yeah, just blow and clean your nose, fam. <laughs> yeah. So yeah, he knows how to do that still. No, I hear it still. Okay, cool. <clears throat> but yeah, man. Um, so obviously I was scrolling through Twitter this mm-hmm. week, yeah. Um, and there's been a ca- kind of a lot of uh Lot of uh, well, you are know, we, are we against the other gender now? No, nah, we're not really against the other gender. It, it, this one is it, no, actually, it's, it's bad, but it's funny though. All we right. have it, bro. All right, cool. Married men, Riz, let's go. Hey, so obviously, <laughs> someone's put that, yeah, and then a lot of people have then quote and tweeted with mm-hmm. examples of married men trying to Riz, yeah, 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 Riz them. Mm-hmm. So, I'm gonna read out, I've yeah, got yeah. a couple still, yeah, read, read, right, them, cool. right, read them. So, the guy, the guy said, um. My runaway bride, she said, "What one one what? Oish! Uh, what, 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 what? Let me start again. Let me start again. My runaway bride, smiley, mm-hmm. smiley fire. What of the one you have at home? He said, "That's my stay at home bride. Who's that? Uh, who's that woman and kids you posted on your status? Oh, that one. She's my wife, but we are just friends. Don't worry." <laughs> <laughs> I said, do you know what? We're just friends, you know. Oh, all right, cool. Don't call me. You don't know about that. <laughs> In fact, let me not even talk. Oh, you never told me you have kids. He said, I'm trying telling you, but I did. He put that emoji. <laughs> but I'm shy. <laughs> <laughs> and then hey, don't kill he me. He put, but what? And she said, Oh, you said you don't like guys that talk too much. <laughs> I hear it though. You didn't ask me. You didn't ask, <laughs> you didn't ask me. I say, you didn't ask me, bro. Wait. I might as well say, I have five children. You didn't ask me. <laughs> All right, cool. You look like my future star, um, star face emoji. Mm-hmm. You have a girlfriend, please. He said, but do I have a wife? That's kind of true, though. That's kind of true. Oh, that, that's true. That's true. That's it's true. Because true. Right. I can't lie. Girlfriend is more. God doesn't see girlfriend, fam. All right, wait. <laughs> All right, wait. Head yeah, is yeah. one, yeah. All right, cool. Um, she said, well, I'm sure your wife is cute too. Uh, he said, what makes you think she's cute? <laughs> hey, man, it's shit, man. Yeah, bro. Are these are real life examples. These real life examples. Man, it's shit, man. Um, I named my daughter Ch- uh, Chisholm because of you. Chisholm. Ah, it will ride as well. <laughs> <laughs> I said, I named my Chisholm cool because of you. Yeah, yeah. I can't lie, though. I know it's tapped, yeah. But would you ever name your child based on someone that you've known? No. Okay. No, but even then, yeah, that's you, tough, though. every name that you have probably even reminds you of someone anyway. I was speaking to my wife about this, yeah. We was gonna name my son a name. Yeah. But it reminded me of someone I knew that I didn't like. Yeah. Because I didn't name him that. Is that mad? No, I don't think that's mad. It's fair, isn't it? No, I think it's yeah, fair. I hear that. But do you know, do you know I've never met anyone called Zeph. Nah, same, you know. Yeah, okay. Same. I ha- I know. People like on social media that like, their kids are called Zeph, but yeah. not like personally. Yeah. Okay. First, I'll let me keep going. Yeah. Mm-hmm. I just wish my wife can allow you to switch positions with her. She said, "Excuse me, what he said." Every time I look at her, I see your face. Even Jesus. my kids have started resembling you. Jesus, bro. I said, even my kids have started bro. resembling you. Hey, men are terrible, bro. bro. But it's funny though. Wait, wait. How does that... <laughs> are you married? She mm-hmm. said, um, she said, are you married? He said, why do you ask? She said, yes or no. He said, that's a bit too personal for me to answer. <laughs> and also, I would like to focus on us and not the outside noise. <laughs> wait, wait, this one is the funny one, yeah. I can about hey. say, yeah. Mm-hmm. She said, why didn't you tell me you were married with four kids? I'm shy. 
I have it, man. Bro. I have it. Uh, That's so funny, man. Bro, all right, cool. I, wait, hold on. I even saw um, a TikTok. I don't know yeah. if you saw it, yeah. When he was like, when he, on the way to his sneaky Luke's house. Yeah. And he was daydreaming about his family at home. And then someone was like, not telling around is crazy. Yeah. And that's so funny because you think you remember listening to your family. Yeah. yeah. And you're still on the way to G. Right, and you don't, bro. I can't hey. lie, yeah. Some man are shit, bro. Well, okay, cool. So you have a wife now. Mm-hmm. Um, then he said, Oh, yeah, my wife, it's not a problem. She's like my sister, I swear. We just respect each other. Don't kill me. I have it though. You don't know the status of some of these men's relationships. That's probably why they're even mad. No, 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 no. What if the, what if the marriage is done, bro? Where if it's then just legal? The, then there was, bro. Yeah, but I'm separated, innit? I can't say I'm back. In fact, let me not even talk. <laughs> for the castle. Let me not talk. Um, for the castle. Okay. Are you like married or something? Not really. I don't get. What do you mean, not really? Mm-hmm. Uh, no. I said not really. Man man. Says, I mean, sometimes I'm married and sometimes I'm not. <laughs> I have it, man. When, I'm, I'm, home, when I'm at home, I'm married. When I'm not. <laughs> 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 Man said, when I'm at home, I'm married, when I'm out, I'm single. I'm crazy, man. Uh, that I'm shy one was so funny. No, man said, I'm shy. Wait, man said, okay, cool. This, one, this person, yeah, mm-hmm. I've got a couple left, yeah. He said, mm-hmm. she said, Lo, I thought you was married. He put, he replied to that with the 100 sign. <laughs> and then said, how was your I weekend? I said, well, Anna, don't talk uh, cool. um, uh, Then this girl gave different examples. Mm-hmm. Having children don't make me married now. I'm single for you. Another guy said to her, I honestly forgot I was married. Thanks for reminding me. <laughs> One other guy said, even my wife will approve of my decision. And then I said, that's not my son. That's my friend's child from someone whose wife gave birth a few months ago. Terrible. Wait, this one, yeah. What about this Terrible. one? What do you think about this one, yeah? Mm-hmm. Um, she said, so you went and got married. And he said, I got kidnapped into it. <laughs> I hear it, man. These arranged marriages. That's it. That's an arranged got marriages. Into it. Don't kill me. Hey, wait. All right, this way. Mm-hmm. Um, who's the woman and kids you post? Oh, no. This is the... Okay, this is from the one before. So who's that woman and kids you post? You say she's my wife, but we are just friends. Don't worry. She said, how about the kids? Are they your friends too? He said, depends on how you look at it. <laughs> Which is true. Then someone said, you never told me what... Never told me you were married. He was like, why would you need that piece of information? Don't kill me. Yeah, that's I hope we don't condone it. We're not condoning. Well, no, no, no. Of course not. We don't condone. Don't condone. Because, man, but that's but it. Some are actually crazy, man. So my question was, yeah, mm-hmm. I'm not gonna lie. A lot of those, whatever. I don't know if it's if it's mainly Nigerian men that was doing that. It, it has, has to be. be no, some, not Nigerian. It has to be African, African men. Oh no, it's definitely all African it has men to that's be African in that friend. Men. Yeah, I just that be. was. I Cause don't know. Some because bro, uncles are finished. No, they're finished still. Bro, uncles. Finished, but yeah, go on. Well, my question was, yeah, so all right, when you get married, yeah, mm-hmm. do you think you still have? What did I even say? I hate the word riz, but obviously, because of the I, thing, I had this conversation with my wife the other day. I right, got, I don't know how to socialize with women anymore. Wait, what? I don't know, bro. <laughs> like, I'm so awkward because cool, so <laughs> so. On um on Sunday, so my boy had a birthday meal, wasn't it? Um, with some of the people from church and that, and and some of his friends in it. So I went to toilet now, and then um, the corridor, you know the corridor, isn't it? Yeah. And then one of the girls came, and, like, walked, was walking in that side. Yeah. Corner. I was just like, hi. <laughs> 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 you know that was I'm like out of there. You get me? Yeah, yeah. But oh, even that, like. Generally, bro, I don't know how to speak to women like that because I just feel like I shouldn't be speaking to you right now. So I think me just feeling the guilt of I shouldn't be chatting to you. You're not my friend. I don't like. I don't know who you are. We shouldn't be speaking. Wait, so so wait, can you not socialize well, when you're married? Though you can, in it, you can, you can socialize when you're married. But I just, you know what? Let me be honest with you guys, in it. Because of my history, yeah. yeah. <laughs> because of the life that because I used to of the live. Ground I used to yeah. Be. Because of the life I used to live, I just, just I washed my hands of commu- any communication. Yeah. I'm saying. No, I washed my makes, hands of it. No, that makes I don't sense. even want to be around them. Yeah. You get me? So, because even in like social environments, I would just not speak to women. Yeah. And 
I'm too, my wife is like, it's calm, like, what's wrong with you? Like, socialize, yeah, like, yeah. not that deep. Yeah. Like, I know it's deep. Because <laughs> for me, it's deep. For me, it's deep. <laughs> <laughs> do you get me? Yeah. So, in terms of do I have risk being married? Yeah. No, and I don't want to find out. Okay, fair. No, and I don't want to find out. That's why some, some men will still move to girls or they would still, let's say they go out of their boys. Yeah. They will still chat to other women just to see, okay, do I still have it? Yeah. Or maybe it might be an ego piece for them. So, like, them, them, them men are mad men though. You're playing, you're playing dangerous the fire, game, innit? You're playing Same a very dangerous game. Some women, like remember Steph Curry's wife? Yeah. Where there was that she, thing about her she's wanting... A ta- she's a tapped woman still. Well, that's someone's wife. But we can't be talking on there. Like oh, that, sorry, man. sorry. But, tapped you know... <laughs> Actually, no. Sorry. You know sorry. when um, I sat about her... Wanted to be complimented by other men. Yeah, yeah. It's like you're married. Why do you need to feel complimented by other men? Like, yeah, I don't. I, that's so what I feel it's, like it's, it's just a, a, conf- tapped, it's a confidence it's a bit... boost. Like having Riz, that's just you feeling confident, no? Yeah, no. And it, do you it, need it Riz is... when you're like, what is Riz? Game, charm. Is Riz yeah, no, charm? Riz is, yeah, basically charisma. Or... Charisma, charm. I can't lie. Every woman in the world could think I'm an awkward neek. I don't care. But your wife. But my wife thinks I'm the coolest guy on earth. Yeah. Do you get me? I don't that, care what other women think. That, that's my Same. issue with Steph Curry's wife. Yeah, oh, but that's why. It's not even Steph Curry. Aisha Curry. Mm-hmm. Because why do you need outside approval when... Yeah, and that's what I don't understand. But sometimes it's crazy, yeah. But I kind of understand what she's saying. They've, they've got kids, right? Yeah. So obviously you've grown up. You were once attractive. You were once... Not to say that she's not attractive yeah, anymore. Yeah. But you've lived a life... Men are chasing you. Yeah. You got married. You had kids. You're not really feeling yourself. Your husband's probably telling you you're pretty. Oh, you're a beautiful, babe. Yeah. But you probably just want to feel pretty from other yeah, yeah. to other people. No, I can, as, I can as, agree. As, as tapped as it is, because we always say, oh, as long as my wife thinks I'm good looking. No, but you still want. But out, if, if someone, if people someone pops in the comments, flat. if someone pops in the comments, be like, oh, that king guy's peng. Yeah. yeah, yeah. I'd be like, <laughs> <laughs> you get me? Like, yeah. it's, it's just a confidence thing. Yeah. But I don't I don't think we should care. Like, I don't care what other people apart from my wife thinks of me. I don't care in it. But if someone wants to compliment me, it will gas me. Yeah, you know no, I, I, I think I it's just I think it's just trying to force it. That's, that's where that's it's why I said it's tapped because she kind of tries to yeah, force it. That's where it's but I forgot what she did one time, but one mm-hmm. time I was just like, yeah, no, you did too much. Mm-hmm. Like, okay, wants it to be complimented here and there, that's mm-hmm. fine. But I think when you're trying to force it and mm-hmm. force that, yeah, I'm. St- I just think. So what about you? Do you feel like married men um, should still have Riz? Because who are you risen though? No, no, I don't know who you're risen. But I think you can still. Well, I me, I've never Riz chat, so me, I don't mm. know. That's like, a you not secure a wife. You, you, no, it's you, true. You risen her now. You say, "Yo, baby, how long ago that was? what modules you doing?" <laughs> <laughs> what lot are you going what to specialize are you going in, to specialize in <laughs> baby? <laughs> You're the cover do the commercial. <laughs> <laughs> I don't but, kill um, me. But yeah, no, I don't know. I, I don't know. I think I think you. Should... No, but I feel like charisma is just anything in general, mm-hmm. anyway. Or mm-hmm. game is just. Mm-hmm. You know, some guys you might just come natural to them. No, but the you thing is, mean? before not to toot my own horn, yeah, yeah. But yeah, before but... I got married and before I had a long term relationship, I would like to say I had charm. Yeah, like, I would like to say that. I'm sure people can agree. Do you know what I'm saying, yeah. but now. That I'm married, I'm just like, I don't even want to. I, yeah, I don't, don't want, want that. To, yeah, because yeah. that can lead to some dangerous places. Dangerous yeah, territory. Sorry, sorry. <laughs> so no, I, I don't mind being the awkward guy. Because even at church, yeah, um, there's one member that she saw me on a night out, innit? it. We were like, probably had a conversation, like it was calm, innit? it? She was like, all oh, right, I didn't know you were. Like this, like yeah. at church, you're just in the cool of Zeph. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I'm like, cause that's I'm happy there. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah. I'm happy there, bro. Yeah. Man, don't leave me. Don't come next so to wait, me. What, so wait, okay. So what do you think about? So, cause me, I'm a very talkative person. Mm-hmm. I can make new friends easily, mm-hmm. and even women friends, like my friends at work and all of that stuff that I just talk to. Yeah, and yeah, that. yeah. But that's calm though. You know, what? so yeah. because you can't live your life thinking that you're it's gonna calm, just... but there's boundaries, isn't it? No, of course, because. In my previous soul, I had female friends. Yeah. Well, not female friends, but I had female colleagues, women colleagues. Yeah. That we were cool. Like, we would speak. We'd all go get food together. In the office, we're ch- chilling together. But there's just boundaries, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah. Say we're in my wife. She has no colleagues, like, that her work friends. Like, they're just boundaries. No, but I'm not, not just colleagues. I'm talking about <laughs> friends in general. Because even some of my work friends have become my actual friends. You know what then I mean? Then your wife is such a strong soldier, bro. 
square <laughs> because <laughs> that even she can just she some so I feel like some people just have thicker skin for things like that. Yeah, like with me, I'm the kind of person where if my wife now became friends with a new guy, yeah, I'm like my guy. Hey. <laughs> What the fuck is this? <laughs> that can't well, happen. He he double he, he, he can't I'm be. Sorry. A, you know what? With me, yeah, I'm someone that I like to uphold what I say in it. Mm-hmm. So if I'm telling my wife this can't run, yeah, I won't do it. Yeah, even in secret. You know what I'm saying, yeah. So there was even a particular person at work that me and her became cool with, and it's like, okay, if would I be happy if my wife was doing this as well? Yeah. So I kind of just put the brakes on it. Yeah, yeah, man. But in terms of making friends, new friends being married, I feel like it's just a great area. Like you and your wife should make the same friend together. Just get me. I don't know. I don't know if that's that practical though. It's not, but it depends. It depends on where you meet the person. Yeah, okay. Which is why now most of my female friends are friends with my wife. Do you know what I'm saying? Mm. And most and the people that we meet, we kind of meet them together, like through church or through just mutuals, etc. Yeah, no, I hear you. I, I think I, I, think, you I think also you just kind of need to know who you are as well and your strengths and your weaknesses. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I choose to be like this because I know my weaknesses. Yeah, yeah. You know what I'm saying? Same way a couple episodes ago, Joey was saying he doesn't be in certain environments because yeah, he yeah, just knows he, who he is. Do you know yeah, what I'm saying? Like, he knows where he's come from. He knows what he's trying to be. So he yeah, just avoids it. Yeah, no, Same I, way, I, agree I just still. avoid that. No, I agree. You get, you get what I'm trying to say? Yeah, I agree. And I also don't want my wife to feel insecure about anything. Yeah, and I feel like that's how, I think it's just how you and your wife are anyway in terms of boundaries. Yeah. Like, Abs is very, I don't know, because Abs knows I have a lot of female friends. Which is why I have a lot of male friends, but then with my female friends, it's always been a thing where you know Abby's there, like, she's never been a secret. She's always Mm -hmm. been involved somehow. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? So I feel like that's how she she built up that trust to know that Mm-hmm. It's just Junior's very social Yeah Very talkative sometimes Like Cause it's like So hold on So if she Was like you Yeah Had like a lot of male friends like, How would you deal with that? And but And I was still how I am now With yeah. a lot of female And that's fine I don't have a problem with that mm, Cause there was one time Where obviously I've got female friends too Yeah And then um, They come over and visit innit? Yeah And I love my female friends to bits And they're friends with my wife now too Yeah you know what I'm saying but so it's beautiful. It worked out like that because it could have gone like, nah, yeah, she can't come yeah, in. Yeah, 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 yeah. Which, where well, that's in fact, anyway. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, exactly. That's not for the microphone. <laughs> but <laughs> but um, I was just thinking, yeah, if my wife was to now just bring up, bring Mandev into the house. Yeah, like this, yeah. <laughs> yeah. And I come home, I've just seen Mandeva back out. Yeah, so yeah. Mandeva eating my popcorn or Jesus, drinking my juice. God forbid. I don't know how I feel. Nah, I don't know how I feel either, you know. But I would like to think that they'll become my Mandem too. Yeah, that's what I'd feel. I would like to think that. Yeah. Which should be the case. No, but I do you think that. it's by force though? You just see how everyone's like, oh, your your wife should be friends with your, your I don't, friends. Do you I think, don't think it's by force? I don't think it's by It's not by force. I think mm-hmm. be cordial and be cool. Mm-hmm. It's not by force to be friends, friends though. But you know, if it's one of my friends that is around, mm-hmm. then fine. Because, but because that's like, it's like this, like the way you, you AK, you man, all of mm-hmm. you man, mm-hmm. like, I, you man could sit in my house. Um, if I'm gone for thirty minutes, so mm-hmm. I tell you man, go in, like just not going to do Abby's at home, mm-hmm. right inside. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? Because your friend, you're even friends with her yourself, so mm-hmm. you could leave a whole conversation. Mm-hmm. So, but you know, like there's certain people I'd be like, okay, yeah, just wait for me. I'm coming. <laughs> 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 You know what I mean? Just because I know yeah, yeah, that yeah. you're not that cool that yeah, you're about yeah, so be a bit... You might ever make your wife awkward, like, Awkward, you know yeah. what I mean? So, no, I hear it, though. Because it's like a thing where... Because, like, some of my female friends... Mm-hmm. But that's only my close ones, mm-hmm. where it's like, okay, we haven't seen each other in a while. Let's go and catch up. And we'll just go mm-hmm. eat or something, get food quickly or something like that. Mm-hmm. So, that's kind of how I'm my situ- that's my situation, did it? Mm-hmm. I wonder how I feel how you said that. But I can't like, I don't think I'd really... Uh, I'm going dealing with Tyrone and Jamal. Why you say Tyrone? Why is it always Tyrone? The black names, <laughs> isn't it? I've got dealing with Tyrone and Jamal. Or I've got dealing with, with Dami. <laughs> like, or more. But to us, what I did I? I? No, but I think hey, it'd be, I, I'd be fine food. with it because I do the same thing. Yeah, I have it. And it I depends. think I'll be fine with it. But then as well, those those group of friends that I do that with, I've been on them that they've been yeah, in my life from the, beginning, from the beginning. So it's like, what yeah. can you really... I think, I think when you know, because obviously my female friends... Were my friend before Nosa entered the yeah. picture, so 
It's kind of like get with it, babe. Yeah, like, these like, are my guys. Yeah, like, <laughs> yeah. like I'm these not are really guys, gonna burn man. the bridge, bro. I've exactly. known them for how long, you know? What exactly, I, mean? I hear that. So, I hear that. No, I, I hear that. But still. yeah, I think it just depends on who your partner is. Yeah, and who your wife and who you are. So, question: So, if your wife um had a problem with you having female friends, and she was like, "Babe, cut it out." What would you do? Well, with certain people. Just with certain people. One, I, 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 I kind of need a valid reason before, though. Like, do you always need a reason, though? No, no, but it depends because it's like, mm-hmm. if you have to have seen something that I don't see. If you see something that I don't see, like they're trying to move a bit. And even way, if you don't see it, yeah. Because see how some some of us guys, we're a bit, na- we can be naive. Yeah, yeah. So especially our female friends. So if our wife sees something that we may not see, yeah. would you. No, yeah. Would tell, you listen? Yeah, of course. Tell me, and then that. Tell me, and then that mm-hmm. means I'll start looking out for the exact same thing. And if I see what you're seeing is true, mm-hmm. then then oh, of course. Because there was one time, um, time ago, mm. time ago, there was one girl where we were all like together, and the girl must have said something, and then my wife was like, "I didn't like this." Yeah. But I was like, "Being like what?" Yeah. Because I was like, it weren't that deep. Yeah. She was like, no, trust me. I'm a girl, I know. I know. <laughs> I know. I, I I'm a girl, like I know. Yeah, yeah. And I was like, but it weren't that deep. Yeah, yeah. And she was like, babe, I'm a, I know what yeah, she, she meant yeah, yeah. by this. Mm-hmm. And I know what she's trying to do. Dead. And I was like, you know what? I don't want to spoil. Cool. You get yeah. me? So I think I, I, I heard that. But I think it depends on how strong your friendship was, though. If you could just yeah, yeah. It wasn't really that strong. But so. honestly, it, has, like, you have kind of, it kind of has to be something... Substantial, mm. but mm. obviously, I would slowly, gradually, but obviously, yeah, it just really mm. depends. This is why I asked for getting older, bro. I think, dude, I know this boy, he has a wife, he has a girlfriend, yeah, let's all come and chill. Yeah, yeah. it's easy, bro. <laughs> no, it's, 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 it's easy, easy couple of friends, course. Couple but you kind of still need a couple of different free, people bro. in your house as well. Huh? Bro. You need a couple other type of people in your life. No, I don't really can't, care anymore, It can't just man. be married, 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 Obviously, married, yeah, married. it can't be. Like, I've got single friends, innit? Yeah, exactly. I've got single female friends, like, but it's just easier, man, when it's just no, like, a couple I, I, I friends. No, I heard that still. Just link up. I know, you're, you get me? Like, it's not like that. <laughs> your situation is that. Get me, it's that. Your situation is that. No, you're I'll coming to my house now, you're wearing some, like, skippy, skippy something, like, <laughs> damn, man. I'm about to ask you, I'm about to ask like you're sitting there just laughing. Hey, don't kill me. <laughs> okay, I've got a dilemma for you. Now. Yeah, no, let's go. Let's go. Okay. I'm out of y'all so for breaking up with my girlfriend after she rejected my proposal twice. Eesh. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I said eesh. Okay. Wait, so sorry. Read the title. I'm out of y'all so for breaking up with my girlfriend after she rejected my proposal twice. Twice? So oh. Sierra and I have been dated for four years. I absolutely love her. Sierra. Yeah, Sierra. Kind of reminds me of Sierra from Love and Hip Hop. Anyway, I absolutely love her and she felt like she was my soulmate. <coughs> I knew I wanted to propose two years into dating, but I decided to wait one more year so I can get in a better financial position. That's fun. Later, I proposed. It was a private proposal on a beach where she went on our, where we went on our first date. Mm-hmm. She looked at me and said, I want to marry you, but not right now. Just take the ring, though. Just, just no, take but the it ring. was private, so nobody's there. It's not embarrassing. No, but it has to be for people. Oh no, okay. No, it, it was a private. Okay. That's fine. Mm-hmm. That's that's understandable. Yeah, that's calm. You take the L. Yeah, you take the L. You said that. Right? She said I wasn't in the right place to personally get engaged. Just give me some more time. Oh, well, that's fine. That stung, but I was okay with it. Yeah. After all, I put off proposing so I can be in a bit in a better position. It's okay that I give her the chance. And that's very awkward, though. Very awkward. So what happens when you get so, back to bro. the... <laughs> you know, you bro. said you wanted a quiet journey. You know what I mean? You know? <laughs> yeah. No, like, if that happened to me, yeah, mm-hmm. we're going back to maybe the, the same room or something mm-hmm. like that. Mm-hmm. Me, I'll just go take off clothes, shower, Don't kill and I'll go... Me. I'll go on the... You know, I'll sit down yeah. on the bed with my back turned Don't to Don't kill me. I mean, look at, look at the beach. <laughs> bro. And then I'll go to bed. I'll just put my... Don't kill me. I have to make sure I'm turned around. So hey, don't kill me. Don't touch me. Don't touch me. Don't, touch me. don't, touch me. don't, touch, don't get your hands hey, on me. don't kill me. All right, go on. But it's been a year since then and I decided to propose again. Okay, one okay year so he waited a year later. Yeah, that makes Which sense. is fair. This time, I asked their friends to help me set it up because I wanted to do something nicer. We orchestrated a nice dinner and a propo- proposal in front, in front of, of the friends. Yeah, man. Yeah. <laughs> and a proposal in front of a nice fountain in the city's garden. Yeah. Everything was ready. Dinner was great. And we went to the fountain. 
She saw the roses and everything. And then I got down on one knee and asked her to marry me. She teared up and told me, not just yet. That started really bad. Uh, I knew I wanted her in my life forever. But this is the second time she turned me down. I asked her why and she told me the same thing last year. I asked her if there's something holding her back. Maybe a fan, friend, someone that you're, someone that you're yeah. seeing. And she said, I just want to make sure that this work, this will work. This hurt me more than two, more than the two rejections. Wait, so this was the third rejection? Okay. Okay. This hurt me more than the two rejections. I told her if after four years she isn't sure. No, then... so the two rejections were there and then mm-hmm. what she said afterwards. Is okay, like, okay, yeah. yeah, fair enough, fair enough. This hurt me more than the two rejections. Okay. I told her if after four years you're not sure, then what the hell will make you sure? Honestly. She asked me to give her more time, and I told her no. No, man. I told her I'm not going to keep wasting my time Bro. if she's going to keep saying no. Hello. I told her I can't do this anymore. Mm-hmm. She began begging me not to leave. No, no, F And she said, fine, I'll marry you. Please just don't Wait, go. are you okay? <laughs> Please I'm just the, don't go. I'm the dr- you're upset to my girl, bro. I'm the dr- dress. Dr- Pity bro. is pity. Bro. You're saying yes because of the pity. The next minute he'll start sending venues. And, hey, don't kill And then me. she'll start sabotaging and saying she's bro, not ready. Don't kill me. That made me really mad, but I didn't say anything. I left. My phone has been blowing up with some of her friends, even her parents, F- and her F- telling me that I'm an arsehole for throwing away a four year relationship because she said no. She's and really that I was being a big baby. She just needs some time, they said. The other half of her friends were on my side, and some, some of our friends were on their side. Am I the arsehole for breaking up with her? Nah, man. I can't lie. If look, you're together two years, you propose, mm-hmm. she says no. Mm-hmm. She needs more time. You give her another year. So what? Three three years. Was it three it years? Four years. Four years? Mm-hmm. No. Is it? They were together for four years. They were together for four years. Mm-hmm. All right, cool. So after the first time you said mm-hmm. no, mm-hmm. that you need to get your ducks in order or whatever, mm-hmm. you had one year to get everything to get in order. What, what's holding and, and, you? And deep it. But obviously, maybe you, it's fine. You're not mm-hmm. ready yet. Mm-hmm. But you can't give an excuse that you're not ready yet and not given the reasons for it. Mm-hmm. Then afterwards, he proposes again after one year and he does. Mm-hmm. You do the exact same thing. Where is the progress in your life? But, and you know what? No, mm-hmm. no, no. It's a good thing that <laughs> he broke up with her. Yeah. Because that's stagnation. Yeah, no, it's that's, true. For she's someone to be, to be stagnant yeah, like this, yeah, yeah. you're wasting my and time, bro. She's wasting, it's the same way when people say, oh, if you're, if like, that girl talking would stage. say, talking stage, or we're together for so long, why hasn't he proposed? Yeah. It's the same thing. It's the same thing, bro. Someone that's trying to propose, the boom and say, no, no, no. But don't you think, yeah. You have to, wait, no, no. You have to fear mm-hmm. a woman of stagnation like that one. Hey, don't, it's I'm true sorry. because women because, women lack progression. You know they I mean? want things to move faster exactly. than we do. Exactly. So a woman that's like, no, babe, no, babe, babe not ready. Stagnant, yeah, that's, that's what scary. What else is under, that's your, scary. That's under scary. your bed? Nah, no cap, what no cap. demons are you holding <laughs> under your bed? <laughs> oh, no, no cap, that's women. actually very true. I don't know but for them, man. Nah, but you know what? I don't think anyone should be pressured into doing something they don't want to do. 100%. Because if she just generally wasn't ready to get married, then... Was you get me yeah. same way when me and um, I said time a couple episodes ago, mm-hmm. I keep saying couple with beginning of the, this podcast, yeah, yeah. I was at the when me and Elsa first started dating, or like mm-hmm. towards that like, the first year or so, I was um talking about like when would you start like looking, yeah, to, like when can I propose? Wait, wasn't, nigga? wasn't she like what, she was like, like propose, like, <laughs> like, like, like she was like cool down, nigga. <laughs> but you see, that is like if I if I was to be those guys to say. But we love each other though. We're gonna to be together yeah. forever. Why are you saying you get me? Mm. Like I didn't, I was like, you know what? Cool, you need time, innit? Same way this person just probably needed time. Yeah. But if we're together and we love each other, I told I, I proposed the first time, the effort that went to buy the ring and think mm-hmm. and said no a year later. I don't know how long a year is. Bro, a year is a long time, bro. A year, and then and you're still saying the like, same there's thing. There's a proper reason, bro. The only way the only way it would make she it said, fine. She said, I just want to make sure that. I make the right decision or something. But, I make. But, well, I want but, to make sure that this works. No, and that's fine. You can understand that. Is there not canceling though? No, just say yes. That's, that's even one, bro. How are you? Was it? It's not gonna. Okay, maybe one day mm. it'll just click. Mm. A man can't wait for one day for you to get a random click saying, "Okay, yes, it's gonna yeah, work." Yeah, yeah, you know what yeah. I mean? Like, what yeah, what yeah, milestones yeah. are we putting in place so you yeah, you know yeah, that yeah. it's working then? Yeah. If we if we've been together for four mm. years, yeah, mm-hmm. and it's been fine, and you can mm. see a future of me, mm-hmm. there's nothing that needs to be. There's not. You should already know. Yeah, but marriage is different to some people, though. Yeah, marriage isn't something that a lot of men and women, there's some people that marriage isn't in the front of their minds. You know what I'm saying? Like, yeah. some people would want to wait and make sure, okay, this is my person. No, of you know course. What I'm saying? But I think 
if you're with someone for four years, I think you should kind of... Four years is long. You should kind of know, innit? No, four years compared to but, a lifetime is not long at all. Yeah, it's not. But doing life day-to-day mm-hmm. with somebody... But marriage is different, though. No, I know it's different. Because you see, you see, in our last episode, when we talked about marriage and the mindset shifts, and it's like, yeah, yeah. okay, this is my person forever. To some people, they're like, I don't, I don't know if, like, I don't want to make the decision now. Yeah. Because marriage is like forever. So, and people always say, choosing the person you're going to marry is the most important decision of your life. No, it is. And to four years, that couldn't, that might not even be long for her. She's probably thinking, no, I, six years, and, seven and I, years. And I hear that, but I, I just think, how will, am I supposed to just keep waiting until one yeah, random yeah, light yeah. bulb in yeah. your head? Like, yeah, you're not, true. like, how it's been it's going has been fine. Yeah. Even so, he's getting engaged. Mm-hmm. It's not even getting married yet. So, do you think he should have gotten black when she said, "Okay, fine, I'll marry you"? No, nah, no. Nah, do you think he nah, should have left? Yeah. Is it, bro? Stagnation, bro. Yeah. No progression, bro. It's like even then, it's just. And if we're being honest, that's just gonna turn into resentment in front of all of her friends, all of that. And I think as well, it's basically the humiliation. I think that's what's it's the, getting it's, in it's, the it's most. It's like the same way um, they say. That men forgive women, a lot of women that cheat more than you think yeah, because yeah. people just don't know. Yeah, yeah, and yeah. the same way it was like, if my wife cheat or my girlfriend cheat on me, God forbid. And it people, everyone knows about it. The whole ends knows about yeah. it. I'm gonna leave. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But if it's something that she <laughs> no just confessed, I went, I went to Ibiza yeah, and yeah. I shagged this guy. Yeah. She came back and she told me, ah, I'll cry, I'll weep, I won't <laughs> eat for one week. But I love her. She's like a cupcake. You know what I'm saying? I'm not. You get yeah, me. Yeah, yeah. So I think it's just the embarrassment. Yeah, it's, it's mainly it's mainly in the embarrassment. But it's I, embarrassment. I think yeah, you break up with her until, bro. I can't lie. You can't look. If you want one thing and someone doesn't want it, it's not by force, bro. Leave. But even someone when else pe- will even come, when bro. people are not ready, yeah. Mm. Like, say yes. Take the ring. I don't. Uh, and you could no, just, no, I don't you could just so. work on it. That or just have a long engagement. I don't think so. Because if you're not ready and you don't know if you're going to marry me, why you? Mm-hmm. It's fake then. It's not yeah. like you really want to do this thing. Sha, you see, when... I'd rather be embarrassed than, than mm-hmm. be embarrassed about calling off an engagement. Oh bro. yeah, yeah, yeah. Now but I that's mean, not embarrassing though. Calling off an engagement. Something just happened, man. Exactly, but if you say no to a proposal, then it means that you like it stops it this now. It stops it, it now instead of it getting deeper, bro. You know what I mean? Yeah, yeah, yeah. You start doing engagement, that's start a... doing counseling, all yeah, that yeah, stuff. Yeah, you know yeah, what I mean? That's a mad. I can't lie. If a woman said no to me, like, let's say I proposed to Nosa, she said no, when she did, would we still be together? Or would I have stayed? I don't know. Yeah. No, I hate you. I don't know. If I proposed to a woman and she said no, I don't know if I would stay, if I'm honest, because I'm like, okay, you say no, like, why, like, yeah, what, like what are we doing? We, where do you go Where do we here? go? Like, like, where... like, it's ruined. Yeah. <laughs> You've hurt me, man. Yeah. Do you know what I'm I agree still. Yeah, it's hey, crazy, man. man. Shall I say no more? Let's do. Uh, let as well got a little bit of time. Let's do quick fire questions. So yeah, come. Um, I get your phone now. I'm coming. I'm taking a zip. It's just me. I was gonna ask some questions. <laughs> I'm taking a zip, nigga. <laughs> All right, cool. Um, hold on, hold on, hold on. Oh, we can't even look at it. Well, how are we gonna do? Both of us are asking. No, actually, no. You pick a random number. Okay. And then I'll, I'll ask. Then I'll answer after. Uh, ten. Are you looking at the notes? No, I'm just trying to find it. No, you don't 10. need to. You don't need to. Okay, cool. Ten. Oh, favorite concert? You, you've only been to one concert. But I've been to con- festivals. Okay, well, f- okay. Favorite concert or festival? You know, I say my favorite sets. Yeah. Okay. You said sets. My favorite sets. I think. Actually, you know what? Let me just even start. Bro, a shaka man. <laughs> you see that? But that's your one and only concert. Yeah, but I've I've seen perf- <laughs> I've seen performances, bro. Actually, no, it's not. I've I've seen fugitive. <laughs> Wait, what song? I see immediately. I can't remember a time ago. Like, yeah, oh, tell. God. He came to my school, but he performed. That was a concert. I paid. Oh, God. <laughs> now, but you know why I said the Shaka was um, the best artist I've seen perform? It's because he was just sick. Like, his presence was crazy. Actually, Whiskey is quite good as well, you know? Whiskey yeah, was quite right. good. I've only really seen Alpha Beats. Yeah. Uh, my my, my favourite one was Davido. David of disappointed. That's why even Jadavi, he better not disappoint me. Nah, know? bro. I'm gonna be. It's not about this. You don't go. You don't go specifically for the music. You go for the vibe. Yeah, it's true. you go for the vibes. Go, I can't wait. I'm excited the, though, bro. Man was late. He overran, bro. Mm-hmm. But the vibes was the best vibes mm-hmm. ever. Yeah, David of. You don't, bro. You don't know when, 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 when it's what 
10 22. The concert is supposed to finish at 10. Yeah. But you're there singing, I win. <laughs> <laughs> hey, that's so funny. I thought like that. No, I mean, and this latest album of Davidos was very good, innit? So yeah, I enjoyed it still. I'm, look, I'm looking forward to it. Oh, in, in Jan still. Gosh, okay. That's funny. Okay. Pick a number, bro. Um, oh, shit. I'm even looking at it. All right, um, all right, let me do 11. What was your dream job as a kid? Dream job as a kid? Hey, man. Footballer, bro. Yeah, man. Footballer. Okay, apart from footballer, what would you say? Apart from a footballer. You know what, though? When I was um in secondary school, I kind of wanted to do social work, you know? Okay, interesting. I actually kind of wanted to do social work. Social work seems kind of interesting. Though. It seems It seems very... It's, it's, it does seem stressful, impact. but it does seem a lot, very fulfilling. You make an impact. Yeah, and and that's what I kind of wanted. There was, there's this um, podcast. There's two black guys talking mm-hmm. about that, being a social worker. I was actually on them today, just watching their stuff. It's actually quite inspiring, mm. you know, what they go through and what they do. No, what nice. I, I think with me, I think I wanted to be a footballer, but apart from football, was law, man. Oh, is that, I wanted oh, is that to be a lawyer because my mum studied law when I was young, innit? Yeah. I was like, I want to be like you. I'm screaming. And I got to college at university and it just slapped me. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. It slaps everyone. No, though, it just notice. slaps me, yo. Hey, man. All right, cool. Pick another number. Uh, 19. 19. Would you rather be the breadwinner or homemaker? Everybody knows that answer. Yeah, man. Pick, wait, another one, another one. Um, uh, let me pick another one. Uh, eight. Eight. What's your favorite memory of you? Favorite memory of me? Yeah. Oh, wait. How, what does that mean? Like, what's your, like, what's the... Okay. Ah, okay. Must have, must have, sorry, be okay. sorry. <laughs> okay. All right, go on. 2016, mm. July. Go I on. picked up my Merc, yeah. Yeah. With the dealership. Yeah. yeah. I, the drive home, deep it. I didn't have insurance. Yeah. Yeah, I didn't pack the insurance. <laughs> I just went to, where did I go? It was Quay. I think it was at like Hertfordshire. Yeah. Like, jumped in the car now. Started the engine, yeah. put on my music. Bro, that was the I'm best moment no, I, I, I of you still. my life. I hate you still. Bro, I don't know if you remember when 50 Cent grabbed his burger, get which I tried. Mm-hmm. I was like looking in the wind mirror and shit. Yeah. Bro, that was, a, <laughs> that was a five hours odd, bro. Yeah. That was the, I felt like the guy. Oh, damn. No, I felt I like that. I was the, do you feel like what, 19, 18 or something? Yeah. No, yeah, man. Face. That was one of my favorite moments of me. No, like, just me that. by myself. That was no. my favorite moment. So. No, that's that. What I, about I you? That. Wait, did you go pick up by yourself? My brother dropped me there. Oh, your brother dropped you there and yeah, you drove by yourself? Back. With no insurance? Yeah, man. Yo, I, was, I was crazy. Yeah, I was crazy man. back then. This guy. Um, but I didn't know about that, the one day insurance. Yeah, yeah. I didn't know about that. Me, I'm trying to think what was my best one. Um, I was in like year two. Mm-hmm. And in like year two, what I did was like, we were playing football or something. Mm-hmm. And I did one mad overhead kick, yeah. And it went in. Because, yeah. I'm screaming. Yeah. But yeah, one mad overhead kick and it went in, innit? Oh, I keep forgetting my memories. Why? Wow. I keep forgetting. Because that's something that happened to me. Oh, go on. In, um, I used to play for Farrakh. Mm-hmm. When I was in like year 11. And then I had the ball. I was left back, innit? You can sit there. Sit there. You can sit down, man. Sit, there's not going to catch you. join us. No. <laughs> <laughs> uh, no, it's fine. Just pick up, pick we're up. Still our, we're still in our schedule. <laughs> <laughs> no, it's fine. It's fine. It's fine. But yeah, no, it's kind no, of no. We almost but, finished. But um, I took the ball from the left wing. I cut in, yeah. I cut in. You know, <laughs> cut in. No oh, god. And then I was running, 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 and then someone was just like, "Shit, shit!" You know when you're playing football, yeah, and it feels like you're in slow mo, yeah, but you're just hearing noises, mm-hmm. like someone on the sideline was like, "Shit, shit, shit!" <laughs> yeah, so I just took the ball. Yeah. Shot. And then it was, you know, that was where it looks like it's going over. Yeah. So it's going over, over. Because this, this was like halfway line. <laughs> yeah, it's going like, over, it's over, like... over, over. And then it just dipped. Yeah. And the goalkeeper was like shuffling back. And I was like, wow. obviously, I'm short sighted. So I didn't see her. I didn't see it. I didn't have my glasses. <laughs> I, must so I, didn't, I, didn't, <laughs> I didn't know it was going in the goal. So I'm running back now. I'm running back now thinking it's, it's not going in. Yeah. So I was like, oh my God. And yeah. everyone was like, ah. And we cut like limbs. Lives. Nah, that, yeah, that, was, that, was a, that was a sick memory. Yeah, still. Okay, cool. Um, no, nah, wait, let me I've got I've even got a couple mm-hmm. football memories still. Yeah. Um I think my penalty. Okay, that was a good that, moment. That one to win. Yeah, to that, win, win I the can't cup. Like, score the last minute to win the cup. No, no, it's not, I didn't even score the last one. I scored okay. the second to last one. But it's lit, but it man. was like 
bro, you know Till be FC, yeah? Mm -hmm. And you know Till be in it, we'll get some team. And you know Till be, you got the racist mm -hmm. people and they all screaming and yeah, all that yeah, stuff. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Bro, just bare white man in the stands mm -hmm. on us. And bro, mm -hmm. like, even when we played the match, bro, the, like, obviously, AK, Temi, and all of that were there. My uncle, he, my uncle even came from Hastings to watch it as well. Damn. So, like, we had a couple, couple men. Just in case. With us in it. It. No, I mean, like, with us supporting us in it, okay. but. The white ones they had yeah, like the whole of Tilbury yeah, and all yeah, the greys yeah, yeah, with yeah. a minute. So obviously now I'm walking up to play like, oh gee, are you gonna score? Are you gonna score? Because mm -hmm. I was chatting shit to them back all game, innit? Mm -hmm. So when I blazed <laughs> it and they went top binge, yeah. You asked to be like, fuck, yeah, fuck you. <laughs> bro, I turned around, I was I just went, fuck. <laughs> I did gunshot fingers. Hey, don't but as me. soon as like we won that moment, mm -hmm. yeah. Mm -hmm. like, as soon as we won and we started running towards I, I started turning around and putting it hey, at all of them, man. Yeah, yeah, bro, yeah. I was ready to beef, but no, nah, that was a nah, that was a was fun still. still. And okay. we'll do one more though. A number, another number. Um, give me nineteen. I don't nineteen. That's the homemaker. The I was like, okay, give me twenty-seven. A night out or a night in with your wife. Um, a night out. Nah, pick another one though. Yeah. Uh give me 25. Summer or winter. <laughs> That's so dead. Summer. <laughs> Summer. Ah, uh, cool. You go. Let me... You know what? I think I don't know if um I don't know what I prefer anymore, you know. I think I prefer summer, but I used to like I used to like winter. No, I did that, man. It's too but cold. I think I prefer summer still. I'm a, I'm gonna need a Canada goose. Come on, man. If anyone wants to sponsor, I'm there. Yeah, she can, man. It's true. They, they can, they can, like, they can get it for the, the pod, fam. <laughs> you saying? Don't even listen. Anyway, she's choosing, uh, she's choosing to ignore us. Yeah. Um, What's it called? Give number. us one more then. Ooh, what number? Uh, 30. 30. What motivates you the most? But well, we've had you that said question. that. Um, um, you just pick a question. Uh, I'm going to pick a question. To round up. What aspects of your life do you want to improve? I've asked this before, man. I said that, um, fitness, That's fitness, and being there for people. Ah, right, cool. Who, who's your role models? Who's my role models? Yeah, yeah I don't think you've answered that actually. We need to add some more. Who's my role models? I don't know if I have any. You know, as sad as that is, man. That's uh, that's a shame. There's no one. Like, I used to look up to someone. But... <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I, I used to look up to someone heavy, isn't it? Yeah, yeah. But yeah, I don't know if I have any role models. It's quite sad. No, it's sad. I don't have any like figures in my life that I'm like, I want to be like you. Yeah, sad man. Okay, no, fair. my boys, you know, can't lie, my boys. Yeah, I can't lie. I think the, the man that motivated me a lot. Still. The man that motivated me and and different ways. Obviously, I know girls are gonna say, "Ah, oh, you man just love your man." Yeah, yeah. But I can't lie, every single one of my boys adds something different. Yeah. To what I look in, look up to. Yeah. And just because we're all friends doesn't mean we can't look up to each other. Yeah. You get me? Like with nah, you, okay. like. You're a family man, you've got your career patterns, like you're a serious guy. Mm. And in your life, you've done every step that you kind of need to do. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? So I look up to that. Yeah. Same with other, other men, I look up to their individual aspects of life, mm. innit? So I would say I don't have an individual role model, but I look up to the man. Yeah. No, I hear it still. No, that makes sense. Yeah, man. Hey, hey we'll leave it with that still. Come on, man. Hey. Don't tell my wife. Don't tell my wife podcast. We out. Another episode. Appreciate you guys for listening. Like, share, comment, subscribe. That, All of those that. things. We're going, though. Hey, we're growing still. I can't lie. We're, we're to, going. We're to 1,000 yeah, TikTok man. before the end we're of the year. We're growing still. Wait, yeah, come on. Are we, we going to do it? You, we're on like 9, 12. Like, we're to 1K before December ends. We can do it, Oh, before man. December ends? I, I can't lie. That's a, that's a shout still. We can do it. Still. We're to 1K, so tell a friend to tell a tell friend to tell a friend. friend. You know what I mean? But yeah, like, share, comment, subscribe, all of that. Peace out. Yeah.